It was a busy start to the holiday morning in Copley Square, where crews were out before the sun came up trying to keep up with the storm. WB's Michelle Fisher continues our team coverage now from Boston. As of 7 this morning, Boston had recorded 2.6 inches of snow at Logan Airport, officially making this storm the biggest of the season. Now, because it's President's Day, not many people had to be out, but we caught up with a few of the people who did. We almost got it wrapped up. Been here for about an hour. Stephen Andruskevich doesn't mind a little snow and the manual labor that comes with removing it. As the retired Southie native cleared the driveway this morning with his brother, he did so with an excitement you usually don't see. And after years of doing it, it's a piece of cake now. Keeps you young, great exercise. For driveways like Stevens, shovels and power tools were the best way to get the job done quickly. Anyone that doesn't have a snow blow is silly. But for cars, handheld brushes were enough to take care of the light snow dusting. An easy job, Nigel Gurnett says, until a snow plow comes by. Right there in front of you, you've got to shovel it over again. That's, that's the biggest headache around here. The snow plows were out, but while most people were still sleeping, Boston Public Works increased the amount of equipment in response to the snow and had over 240 vehicles plowing and salting by 2 this morning. It could be one of the last times this year we see crews like these. Even before it ends, people are more than happy to call it a mild winter. Candle Mass Day, February 2nd, celebrating halfway point of winter. Winter's in Boston is so unpredictable. Well, the bad news is that as soon as all this melts away, we know another storm is heading our way on Wednesday. So don't put the snow equipment away just yet. Reporting in South Boston, Michelle Fisher, WBZ News.